Today, we are going to take the DNA out of a tomato, kiwi, banana, and blueberry. And a carrot! What? You are supposed to use foods that are soft and squishy, like blueberries. See how easy these squish? How are you going to squish a carrot? Like this. Ah! Don't worry, I'm okay. And see, we got lots of juice. We watched the giant hand do this with a strawberry, and it made us wonder. What about other foods? Can you get DNA out of them too? And we wanted to squish stuff. Yes, squishing is the best. Now let's do the extraction. Wait, we need to use a strawberry too. For more squishing, yay! And to be a control. Every experiment needs a control. If we don't get DNA from the strawberry, then we'll know we made a mistake in our protocol. But also for more squishing. Yes! Squish, 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 squish. squish. After adding our extraction solution, we drained the pulp through coffee filters. I like the colors. How do you think it would taste? Bad. We put soapy, salty water into it, remember? Oh, yeah. And then, we asked our giant hand to pour the liquid into these vials. We got strawberry, blueberry, kiwi juice, carrot juice, banana, and tomato. Everyone should have a giant hand. They're very handy. Except when they drop rubbing alcohol on your face! Ah! My eye is burning! And now it's literally melting. Sharpie marker is running down my face. How horrible. What can I do to help? Don't worry. The giant hand will make me a new one. Be right back. How's the precipitation going? Fine, I think. I see a good amount of DNA strands floating above the strawberry layer, but there's not too much over the other fruits. Can we take it out? Yeah, I'll just get a toothpick and... Voila! Look at that DNA. It was a little tricky to tell if we found DNA in the other liquids, so we had our giant hand pour rubbing alcohol into the big jars, and then we took a look. There's a reason the strawberry is the iconic food for this science experiment. Look at all that DNA, and the color contrast. So pretty. But the blueberries worked out nicely, too. Indeed. Their DNA didn't clump together quite as nicely as the strawberry, but we still gathered a good amount. I'm not sure what to think about the kiwi. There's definitely some strands of DNA there, but there's something else, too. Some green material that clumps together. The carrot was a fail. Yeah. And the banana had a lot of congealed starch. We saw strands of DNA, but not many, and it was hard to separate the DNA from the clumps of starch. And the tomato was bubbly? We couldn't pick up anything with our toothpick. This one looked promising, but perhaps it was too watery. We're not sure. So, we declare the blueberry and strawberry winners of the DNA extraction challenge. With the strawberry being the winner of the winners. Look at all this beautiful DNA. Now getting slightly stained by Sharpie marker. <clears throat> Oops. You can read more about our adventures in these books here. Yes, you should buy a copy. There's a link in the description. And then tell your friends and write reviews so that the giant hand will write more stories about us. Yay! Thanks for watching our first video. And now, a thank you song for our patrons. They're Sergium and Jibium, Navonium and Hoobium, Kidon and Vempathium, Mikeium and Junium, Ulepium and Amandite, Noelonium, Gabonite, Cavicium, Bacartanium, Joyosite, Redondite, Pinamite, and then Carolinium, Meganese, Angelicum, Thalipium, Kendra, Draken, Pacini, and Cochranite, Demisium, followed by Aprilium. They're the periodic patrons, champions of science, valiant in their efforts in supporting science, Mom. If you'd like to join them, you can do it right now. Click the link below to Patreon.